everybody knows that we set the bar and we have the best of the best. And I'm not saying that because I'm the international president now, I'm saying it because I believe in my heart. I started my apprenticeship in 1985 in local 688, Mansfield, Ohio. I finished my apprenticeship in 1989. I ran for vice president in 1990 of my local union, got elected. I became the president of the local union. In 1993, I became the business manager of the local union. I was there for three terms. I left there and went to Las Vegas, worked for a local 396. At the time, uh, I was handling the fastest growing utility in the United States. They were setting 40,000 meters a year at the time um, and spent about five years there, came back to the district and went to work for the 4th District as an international rep. Been in the IBW for 37 years now and I'm really looking forward to this new challenge. I'm gonna surround myself with some great people I think that's important. We got great officers that I can lean on, count on, and uh, ask for their advice and opinions on many, many issues. And we're gonna try to leave the IBW better than we found it. The real lessons I've learned through the IBW is we grow in strength by numbers. That's so important when you're talking about wages, benefits, working conditions, health care. All those things get better with bigger numbers. So the most important thing that I think that the IBW brings to the table is organizing. As an average member sitting out there, sometimes you think, well, why are we out there doing these organizings? We got plenty of people working. But the more you control the, the industry, the more you have control when you're sitting at the bargaining table. So it gets better for the current members and it gets better for the future members as well. When you represent people for a living, and that's really what we do, uh, from my office all the way down to the officers of the local union, you're helping work in families. And I always say we want to represent the guy that takes a shower at the end of the day, not the guy that takes a shower at the beginning of the day. My entire career, I've devoted my life to making working families' lives better. Um, when I hear them say coop, I hope they still say coop. Um, I'm not International President Cooper to them. I should be just Coop. I still am a wireman at heart. I don't work with my tools every day. I have different tools, pencils and pens and computers and uh, laptops and all kinds of different things. But the fact of the matter is, uh, at the end of the day, I want to earn their, their respect. And I've tried to do that my entire career. I think your word means something in our industry, and if I give you my word, I'm gonna do my very best, and I'm gonna say that today, I will do my very best to make the IBW a better place for everybody.